Hey you guys, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a minute since I did a reading and I've actually got some time right now. So we're gonna do a collective message, see what's coming through. I'm gonna use the Naked Heart Tarot to do a Celtic cross spread. And then we're gonna pull from other decks as well just to get some final messages or confirmations if we need them. Um, but let's see, what do we have? Please and thank you, Spirit. I've got this song um, coming through. It's such a weird one, too. Uh, Rihanna. I think it's Rihanna that sings it. Uh, Sweet But a Psycho. She's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. Something that you've been working on, you're doubting yourself, you're maybe second guessing yourself. Um, this really feels like when negative energies come in and they're like, oh yeah, that's for you. Well, when's it going to happen? Um, you know, those seeds of doubt, the naysayers and all that. You might even be having these same doubts is what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups here. Confused how it's going to work. Well, when's it going to happen if it is? Am I just holding on to something or working for something that's never going to happen? But we do have that Two of Cups finishing up this um, message here so it is going to happen it absolutely is and you're going to be very happy but there is a little bit of doubt here and it does kind of feel internal and external you know like maybe somebody else said something that made you think twice about what it is that you're working so hard for or towards Heart of Cups. Oh, you guys. I told you, you're going to be so happy. Like, it's literally two hearts coming together. Like, this is the epitome of your heart is fulfilled, you know? This might as well be the Nine of Cups. But it came out with the Queen and the Two. It's like when Mama's got all her loved ones under her roof. Everyone is healthy. Everyone is happy. Girl, I'd be enjoying a glass of wine, too. <laughs> the Chariot. Double Cancer Energy. Yeah, you're moving forward in your foundation, too. Um, you, might, you might be asked to be a little bit flexible right now to see, believe in something that isn't quite in right in front of you. It's it's not in your hands right now. It's close enough that you can almost smell it, but not quite. You'll get whiffs of it though. Like this this is something that right now you're following the the breadcrumb trail. And maybe some wildlife has grabbed some of that trail, so it's getting a little choppy right now. But you're still moving forward. Your situation is still improving. It might not look like it just this minute. I am hearing someone is waiting for money to come in. It's being processed right now. It's, it's already on its way to you. It's already been sent. It's just being processed, right, on your end. So, like, your bank's end. As soon as they flip that switch and um, the money that's trying to make its way to you can actually hit your account, boom, you're s it's still there. It's still yours. You're just waiting to receive it. Like you did the work, um, but now you're just waiting on the paycheck to actually hit your account. You see, you see what I'm saying? So like there's this time of being flexible. Some of you guys, the reason you're waiting for this money is because you're in between paychecks right now and it's it's hard. You're living, you're not, you, you might be struggling to live paycheck to paycheck right now. So you're really looking forward to this money coming in. For others of you, it's something else that's coming in. 
but that is the most descriptive point blank what this is, what I'm getting here. For others of you, it's actually about a loved one, though. And to be honest with you, I think you're the person that someone else is missing. It's not who you were expecting with the Seven of Cups. But it is somebody that you vibrationally match with. It could be somebody new. Yeah, you've never tried this adventure, this type of an adventure with this person before. It's new. I'm also getting, um, okay, this is so specific, so probably just for like one person. There could be an ex coming back around, but one of you has a child now, so it's different. Or maybe the children are grown now, so it's different. There's something that's different, yeah, but it's a soulmate energy that's coming together with. Or it's something that your soul's been calling for that you're coming together with, right? Your, your plan, your path here. What's the recent past energy? I'm also getting, if you're in a stable relationship, but you're kind of, something is a little blurry for you, something's a little bit, I don't exactly know where they're at right now. It looks like they're um, actually falling more and more in love with you. Or if you guys had like a falling out where you bumped heads you know you didn't agree on something I think that um this person realizes that they'd rather have you than be right so they might even uh, say something like hey you know what you were right they might take one for the team right take the punch but um It could even be you. I feel like both of you guys are laughing. Like, I was about to say the same thing. Like, and then I can just hear you guys. Can we just agree to disagree on this one and not bring it back up? Because I don't want to do that again. I love us too much to let something like that come in between us. And especially if it's like a hypothetical situation anyways. So I see you guys getting over a hurdle. If, if there was a um, disconnect in the relationship or if there was just a very difficult discussion where you guys were not on the same page with something, you're going to be okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to agree to disagree here. Recent past nine of cups. Somebody could be pregnant and that's why emotions are high. Interesting. Cause I did mention that nine of cups. Yeah. So there's love here. There's already love here in regards to the situation. Well, for those of you where this is something new, it's exactly what you thought it was going to be. I also think that just the idea of, because this is a relationship or a situation that's already in your situation here, so I feel like you've already had some pretty awesome moments of grandeur with this. Um, oh, I just heard the best is yet to come. There's the naked heart, the bonus card in this deck right there. Yeah. Yeah. Just to have this offer, this opportunity in your lap. Something worth fighting for here. It could be emotions, like just a little bit of doubt. Everything here is positive. That Seven of Cups is confusion. It can be a little bit of, um, I don't know, energy, dreamer energy. Seven of Pentacles. You're still working for this, though. So. I just heard all the seeds matter, so we're going to plant them. We're going to plant them. This doesn't feel like one of those all eggs in one basket type of situation, but it does feel like something that you are not considering as temporary. Doesn't need your attention 24 seven. However, this is something that you want to be a permanent staple in your life. And here's the change that makes it happen. Death, rebirth. Yeah, something is definitely growing and expanding. A lot of Jupiter energy is what I'm getting off of this. Saturn too. 
interesting because that's Pluto. That's Mercury. Ten of Cups. So there's really no fears, worries, or concerns other than missing this opportunity or fumbling it because like you already have it but it's so new ten of pentacles wow wow this is definitely supposed to be a part of your situation yeah and it's very happy happiest card in the deck matter of fact there, there's a lot to be said about this fears worries concerns not a single one not a single one So this is someone, something that you already have a lot of faith in, even though it maybe has, maybe some of you have been around each other for quite some time, actually. Um, so there's history. There's a reason why there's a lot of love and trust here. I'm talking like y'all would take bullets for each other type of loyalties. All right. Loyalties. And... Others of you, there have been disruptions in this connection, whether it be to a person or a, I, mean, I want to say critical situation, like your living situation, your work life situation, um, if you want a business, your client um, relationships, there's some kind of disruption that takes place, but I feel like you're learning something from this and you're also handling this in a very mature way um you're doing what you need to do what you've been asked to do and you're bringing your own spice to the table as you do it does that make sense you're doing it the way you are supposed to do it might not be the way everybody else does it but this isn't everybody else's path. This is your path. So how are you going to do it? There's something very unique about you and the reason, yeah, that's the conflict we were just talking about. Yeah, but we're overcoming that. Aw. What was I just saying? It'll come back to me. How's the divine viewing this? Six of Wands, victory, success, recognition, reward. Like, we see what you did there and we're impressed. We're very impressed. Matter of fact, we want to celebrate this a little bit. We kind of want to make a little bit of a big deal out of you right now because you are impressive. Want to show you off a little bit. You know, it feels like... This is kind of personal, I guess, but I was working midnight shift um, at this factory and I was on the most difficult press that they have there. And there's a lot of moving components with this. Um, anyways, first shift that's got all the big head honchos and the largest shift at the shop. Um, they're all coming in to relieve us. And I look up, all of a sudden I've got half of first shift watching me with this part i'm talking inserts you gotta spray it you've gotta do all kinds of stuff you gotta mark it up you gotta clean it up a lot um you had to add tubes and everything and like add stickers to it like it was crazy what you had to do with just this one part but um i was moving faster than the press which was unheard of and they kind of all just like watched me do that right did I get a raise no um <laughs> but there was this moment of being seen being recognized and being appreciated my hard work had I had something to show for it right and it might not have been a nice new car or whatever else but there was still something pretty awesome that was a moment that I hope to remember even in my elder years um but yeah that that stuck with me. And I kind of feel like that's what's happening here. You know, my supervisor was very impressed with me and he wanted the next shift to see, you know, um, what I was doing. And 
I feel like your partner or your boss or your, your team, your spiritual team, they want to show you off in some way. Especially if you're pregnant with your partner's child, they really want to broadcast this, scream it from the mountaintops. They are so excited about this. There's no fear. There's no fear because they are going into this with you. And with you, all things can... Oh, is somebody proposing? And with you, they know that all things are possible as long as they have you by their side. This could be a proposal. So if you're... I, I don't know, men and women be proposing nowadays. So if your person takes a little longer to get home from work or says they go and hang out with the boys and maybe they didn't, um, or maybe they did, maybe they did take their buddy, their friend up to pick out a ring for you. I, I don't think it's cheating. <laughs> I don't think it's cheating. I think somebody's looking for a ring and they're really looking like they're going to multiple places to find you the right one. They're already thinking about the people that you guys might want to send invites to, what you guys might want to do for dinner. Like they're really thinking about this. I think you guys have already kind of had small conversations about what kind of flowers would you like? Oh, I like that. And then you just kind of drift off into a different conversation, you know, the conversation changes. Um, but you have little moments like that. Would you like a white dress or a black dress or a peach dress? What kind of dress would you even wear? Oh, okay. And then just move on to the different conversation. It's, um, this person is smart. <laughs> I kind of like it. They're crafty. I feel like they make you think too. This situation is going to make you think, man. It's going to make you see what they see, what they feel. You're going to hear the words that they speak to you. This is when someone wants you to see you the way that you, they see you, right? I wish you could see what I see. You're going to see it. You're going to feel it. You're going to believe in yourself the way somebody else does because they're showing you off. And now you really do believe this was real. You are important. What else come out with that? Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, drop a couple of these wands. A couple of these mm, question marks about yourself. You don't need all of that. Drop that little bit of weight, right? Yeah, the universe. You're wrapping up a sabotaging energy. Yeah, yeah, because that's just sabotage. That's you telling yourself that you can't when you can. You deserve to. Matter of fact, there are people that need you to step up to that plate and swing because you're about to get us a home run. You're the only one that thinks you're going to get a ball, ball, strike. <laughs> like Nobody else believes that. She's going to hit it out of the park. Or he he's going to hit it out of the park. It's a home run, right? Safe. And you just brought home the gold. You're the trophy. Not you're holding a trophy. You are the trophy. You are the MVP here. You are cherished. All these beautiful things that universe... And the people around you, you make a lot of positive impact. Strength. It's you having strength and courage, but you're going to stand proud. The lion, the pride. The pride is a whole group of lions. You know what this is? When the person that you look up to tells you that they look up to you. It does feel like you grew wings and you can fly, huh? <laughs> it 
does make you feel a lot better about yourself. It does put pep in your step to see it play out right in front of you. Just by being you, just by doing what you do, just by being the loving, the kind individual that you have always wanted to be. And now it's with those that are as well. Equally genuine and honest. Very, very loyal. I'm also getting that there is somebody in the family tree that's past that's trying to connect with you. Flying things, birds, insects, butterflies, dragonflies. Um, what did I just hear? Oh, um, what are those? Praying mantises? Did they fly? Alexa, does the praying mantis fly? I think it does a little, right? Like a grass From spider? Bakersfield.com. Praying mantises can fly, though they typically don't fly long distances and do so yeah. mainly to find a different hunting area, or in the case of males, to find a receptive female. If you'd like another answer, just say, Alexa, next. It was very interesting because I was talking about partnerships, and yeah, then she mentioned that. Yeah, they fly just a little bit like grasshoppers. So pay attention to that. Winged things. <laughs> Winged things at the bottom of the deck and the split. Just be you. This slump that you're in, this, ugh, oh, another day, another dollar. That's not going to last forever. Put in the work. You're exhausted. You got to wait another however long to get your money. Yeah, but this money might be coming in with a bonus that you weren't expecting or with a raise that your employer forgot to tell you about. <laughs> and then when you do see it, you're all excited and they make a big deal about it and surprise and there's cupcakes in the office and a pizza party and what else do you want? Let's manifest it. <laughs> Matter of fact, they take the whole floor out for drinks and dinner. Yeah, somewhere fancy. Do you like fancy? We'll send you somewhere fancy. <laughs> you let me know in the comments and we'll manifest it because... How do you want this to go? It's going to go even better than that, but yeah. I just heard something about somebody winning a karaoke contest and there's money involved, so congratulations. There's no way. I might know somebody I need to send this to. Soulmate. Yeah, you guys were on different pages. So this could be somebody that wasn't really committing. They weren't taking you seriously at first, but they're apologizing. They're like, wow, no, I should have. I absolutely should have. They're on a different page now. They thought uh, they're going to be here for a couple of months and then they're going to leave. No, but they waited, They, you know, and they're like, I'm sorry. My initial impression about you was wrong. Their first impression. Yeah, twin flame. This is meant to be. <laughs> Soulmate twin flame. This was meant to be. This could even be you. Second guessing yourself. Second guessing your worth and value in this situation. Second guessing if this situation is even all that it, you know, you've made it out to be. Um, it's even better though. It's even better. marriage wow that's some serious commitment here and now yeah you're already involved even if it is new you're already involved and it's very balanced i don't want to go through the whole deck though so let's just stop there that's like 10 cards out of that deck and it played out like the lenormand like it basically spoke a whole sentence that was cool i like when the cards do that All right, Animal Spirit Oracles, what do we have? Please and thank you. <gasps> My apologies. That was the Message of Love Oracle cards. I could only find it on Etsy. You might be able to find it more places now. Yeah, embrace the in-between. You're in between this old version of how the story goes and the narrative and this new way of seeing it and feeling about it and experiencing it. I keep hearing surprise party. 
surprise party. That might have something to do with this proposal. This might also have something to do with a gender reveal. But there's some kind of like a surprise and celebration. Embrace the in-between. Yeah. Time to collaborate with Aunt Spirit. This is the first card in the deck, too. All the pieces are coming together now. The puzzle piece is also autism awareness. I think I'm going to add the puzzle piece to my dream catcher for my youngest son, Joey, who's on the spectrum. I want to add him in there. Yeah, the family tree. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What? What? That's so cool. Anything else? <laughs> Please and thank you. Hi, kitty, kitty. Aw. Hi, pumpkin. You come to say hi? Look, show everybody how big you got. Moss spirit, surrender now. Yeah, this is like that trust fall. Hi, baby. Look how big. What's a sweet pea? They're 12 or 13 weeks um, tomorrow. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, moth spirit surrendering now. I know there's a lot of good energy coming off of these things, huh? Yeah. This is you no longer having fear and doubt, but being able to confidently fully invest. Nothing more than the normal nerves that come with the given situation, but just nerves, not like doubt. Healthy. I like it. Guys, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.